This is a medlar bloom. I just knocked a petal off by accident. It's the first uh, medlar on this uh, in bloom on this tree. I don't know if there'll be many more, but uh, that's what a medlar bloom looks like. You can see that the leaves are related to loquat leaves and quince leaves, and you can see by looking at the flower that it's related to quince uh, flowers as well. It's a relative of the quince and a relative of the loquat and a relative of Cydonia, I suppose, Chinomales. And it has a fruit that can be, uh, well, it's one of the last fruits to hang on in the tree. In the olden days, they were sort of allowed to sort of half rot in a process called bletting, B-L-E-T-T-I-N-G, bletting. But you can just eat them raw and, well, well, they're still crisp. I've eaten them that way. They make nice jellies, the fruits. They're little, they're little pear-shaped things with a brown skin. Very small, though. Very small. Nice tree. There's a Dutch medlar and uh, a German medlar, or an English medlar, I think, available. One's tougher than the other. This one isn't so tough. I should never have planted it out here in the hot, dry climate. But it does better in the temperate regions with uh, more winter wa more summer water. I'll take some pictures when it finally has a fruit. This is a Dutch or German medlar, I forget which now. Maybe it's a Dutch medlar, I forget, but it can be cooked in exactly the same way as the Japonica fruits. It's a relative of the Japonica and it can be cooked in exactly the same way and picked in autumn. It's autumn now, time to pick the medlars too. It's autumn. And the medlars are ripening. There. The medlars are ripening because it's autumn. Well here we have some some more medlar foliage. It's the same tree from the other side of it. And uh, you can just where are they? Where are they? Where are those baby med oh, oh there they are. Here are some medlars. Well, they're either a year old or the year before last. But that's the shape of a medlar. Sort of a relative of the rose family. And uh, that's an old dried out medlar. That's what they look like, but they are edible, the uh, young medlar fruits. See, it's uh, very like, it's a relative of the, uh, the rose. It's a member of the rose family, like quinces and apples. And this is an old black and one. You actually let them sort of go slightly, well not rotten, but before you eat them it's traditional to blet them. I think it's B-L-E-T-T. -T. You sort of blet them in their own flesh, sort of let them sort of slightly rot to make them more palatable. Like quinces, medlars were a, a very important uh, fruit before modern refrigeration and canning methods were invented because they're the last fruits, quinces and medlars are the last fruits to hang on the tree in winter time. Anyway, it's a lovely and useful permaculture species, and it wouldn't be my favourite fruit. I'd prefer quinces, but it's good to have for emergency uh, stored permaculture energy. They're lovely.